I can see that considering the last time I saw you was like three weeks ago. I know, sis. And I'm so sorry that I've been distant. But you know what? I am finally doing what I love. And I feel like I found what I want to do in life. And what's that? To be happy. I just want to work every day doing what I love and it bringing me absolute joy. That's beautiful, Marie. Thank you. So what's been going on with you? Last time we spoke, you were raving on about that aisle guy. Are you guys official now? <laughs> Not even close. What happened? He ghosted me. For real? <laughs> Time wasters. I seriously don't get it. I've been questioning myself this entire week. What did I do? What did I say to have this guy that I've been speaking to for the past month completely ignore me? I know you must be feeling really bad right now, but let me give you some advice. When you keep yourself busy and you're so focused, yeah, half the time you won't even be thinking about these ghosters. I hear that. And I know keeping myself distracted, you will be so busy be that people will eventually come and be you. But I still don't understand them because you've had a lot of time on your hands lately. You've been allowing these ghosters to consume your mind. But they act like they like you. They make the effort to get to know you and make you believe that everything is going well. And then just decide to completely ignore you. I hear that. But for me, personally, if I had allowed these ghosters to get in the way of my life goals, I wouldn't have accomplished all that I have now. But what happened to honest conversation? If you weren't feeling me, why not just let me know? Instead, you just ignore me and leave me to work out the reasons behind your behaviour all on my own. Being ghosted is never fun. And I'm just tired. I'm tired of the games. I'm tired of putting myself out there just to be disappointed. I sometimes wonder if the ghosters in this society got ghosted, how would they feel? Because let me tell you, it hurts bad. I understand. And it hurts more for someone you really like. But before you start making yourself to be the victim, remember it this way. God removed him from your life for a reason. It's time we start paying attention to the people God is removing from our lives and listen. I guess I better start listening. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking the Saba. Should I make a reservation? <laughs> 